Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circles. The largest circle has a radius of 10 cm. We can see that there is a large circle which inscribes four small circles within it and the four circles are same in terms of the radius and they have given that the largest circle has a radius of 10 cm. That means if we consider the center of the circle as this then till the circumference we have the radius as 10 cm for the large circle. Find the radius of the largest circle which will fit in the middle. So imagine that if I am going to draw a circle at the center which looks somewhat like this and this is the circle which fits in the middle then we have to find out the radius of this small circle at the center. Now to find that out let us consider these two circles. So we have drawn the centers of these two circles and the center of the big circle. Now at the beginning of this video I had mentioned that the circles are having the same radius. That means if this circle has a radius of for example x then same applies to this circle as well. This is also going to have a radius of x. And let us now take the distance between the circle's circumference till the center of the circle as y and same applies to the other circle. So this also is going to be y. Now finally let us connect the centers of these two circles. So this is how it is going to be connected. Since from this point till the circumference is going to be x because it's the radius and same thing happens with this circle. From the center till the circumference it's going to be x. This is going to be a right angle triangle at the center of the circle. So let me redraw this and show you how it looks. So it's going to look somewhat this way. So this side is going to be the radius x plus the distance between the circumference and the circle. So the total length is going to be x plus y. So let me write here x plus y and this is 90 degree over here. And the same thing happens for this side which is going to be x plus y again. That is x is the radius and y is the distance from the circumference of the circle till the center of this circle. So it's also going to end up as x plus y. And then the length of this side is going to be x plus x. That are the two radiuses. So it's going to be 2x. Now we have to find out y. Remember they had told us to find the radius of the largest circle which will fit in the middle. That means we have to find out y which is acting as the radius of the center circle. So using the Pythagoras theorem because this is a right angle triangle we can write it as x plus y the whole term squared plus x plus y the whole term squared is equal to 2x squared. Because the Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the square of the two legs of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse and 2x is acting as a hypotenuse over here. Now let us simplify this. There are 2x plus y the whole term squared. So we can write it as 2x plus y the whole term squared is equal to now 2 squared is going to be 4 and x to the power of 2. Now let me solve this expression. So 2 I am going to divide it on both the sides. So we are left with x plus y the whole term squared is equal to 2x to the power of 2 because 2 1 times and 2 2 times and here 2 cancels itself. Now I am going to send the square of x plus y on the other side so it turns up as x plus y is equal to square root of 2x square which can again be simplified as x plus y equals root 2 times x. Now let me gather the x terms on one side so we can write it as now y is equal to root 2x minus x or 
we can take the x common out so x and root 2 minus 1 so we get it as root 2 minus 1 gives us 0 0.414 so we get it as 0 0.414 now this is going to be 0.414x and this is y. Now this is our first expression. Let us take it this way. Now let us look at the next expression. Here they have mentioned that in the question, the larger circle has a radius of 10 cm. That means if you are going to take it from the center till the circumference of the circle, the entire length is going to be 10 cm, which is the radius. Now here we can see that from center of the large circle till the circumference of small circle we have taken the length as y and from the circumference of this circle till the center of the circle we have taken as x which is the radius. So from the center of the circle till the circumference of the circle we have again the radius as x. So now considering the total length from the center of the circle till the circumference of the largest circle we get it as y plus x plus x is equal to 10 because it is the radius of the large circle. Now we can write it as y plus 2x is equal to 10 or we can write now as 2x is equal to 10 minus y or 10 minus y over now let us take this expression as expression 2. We are interested in finding y. So we are going to substitute in place of x this expression 10 minus y over 2. So let us come back to this expression which we had got. So we have now y is equal to 0 0.414 and in place of x we are going to put the value of expression 2 that is 10 minus y over 2. So 2 cancels the 0.414 so it gives us 0 0.207 and we can expand this as 0 0.207 multiplied with 10 so we get it as 2.07 minus 0.207 y. So let us gather the y terms together by taking it on one side. So we get it as y plus 0.207 y is equal to 2.07 so this becomes 1.207 y is equal to 2.07 dividing on both the sides by 1.207 we get it as so it is 1.207 so we have here 2.07 divided by 1.207 so it's going to be 1.7149 we can round it off as 5 so it's going to be y equal to 1.715 so this is the radius of the circle which fits at the center of the large circle so the radius of the small circle is going to be 1.715 I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.